Hello guys and uh, welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod spotlight video. This time we're going to be taking a look at the makeshift 32 SMG, handmade boss SMG. It is made by the Generate deck and the CSEP team, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's a team in all honesty, but I think it's a team. Otherwise, uh, sorry CSEP. Um, it is right here. This is the makeshift 32 SMG and apparently it has an automatic mod right now. I didn't actually mean to keep that, but oh well. And uh, do I have enough ammo to... I, I do kind of have enough ammo. I mean, it looks nice. It performs as you would expect for this kind of thing to do. And it has a oh, pretty nice reload animation too. Let's go ahead and give it some modifications and see what it has on it. Feels nice to use, of course. So that's a good thing. Uh, powerful, rapid. So oh, it, it's kind of forced to have automatic fire, which is all right. I don't dislike that at all. Then you can change its barrel to be very long <laughs> wow okay and then the crib you can change that to be a nice a couple of nice options again like one thing i've noticed about the mods to degenerate daggers and they're like simple but they're very deep in what they add like they add everything you need but not really more than that which i don't dislike at all um i kind of like it uh stock no stock uh, i think when i found it it had full stock yeah so you can add a full stock to it and then muscle what muscles do we have? We have a lot of different ones. I like it. I like it. Let's give it this one, because why not? Um, you have different sights. Makeshift reflex. Okay, that looks very special. <laughs> I like the makeshift stuff. It's kind of cool. You have all of these different ones as well. Nice, nice. Uh, let's go ahead and give it another one, because I'm not the biggest fan of the iron sights themselves. But I, I'm probably still going to use the iron sights, honestly. I'm a sucker for, for normal iron sights. We have quick eject, and then we have large quick eject. And then, of course, taped up and stuff, improved rib. Okay, so all the different grips actually help the um, the stats, which is, of course, super nice. Uh, recoil and hip fire accuracy. Sure, let's go with this one. And then the barrel we can make... I don't know. I, I like the this barrel. It looks like that gun that, um, that the French used during World War II, I'm pretty sure. All right, and this is pretty much me upgrading it. So let's check it out again. See how this looks like now. This is the makeshift site. Ooh, I like it. It's very makeshift, and it kind of adds to the, the the feel of it. Oh, and it's on target now. Like, it barely moves at all. Yeah, it's, it's pretty sweet to use right now. Pretty nice. Let me pick it up. It has that animation. I also like the animations. It's short and sweet. Nice and sweet. It ha doesn't have any cool flair to it, but I don't have to. Again, just a nice, simple mod that is pretty much the same load order. That's kind of all the mods, in all honesty. <laughs> this is just nice mods that are very vanilla friendly. That kind of feels like they belong in the world. So you might as well just keep it in the world, because why not? Um, but but there are a couple things, a couple details. Um, it has a level uh, integration, which means the injection, as they call it, which is it is called. I don't know why I said integration. Um, but it, it is integrated in the level list or injected in the level list at a level one, so it's pretty much there at all time, uh, all times anyway. It, it needs to use munitions to add the actual ammo. As you can see, it uses thirty two. Vanilla only has 38 in the 30 range, so um, it's not a vanilla ammo type, so you need to get a munitions. I don't know if there is an actual one that doesn't require munitions, but if that's not the case, then it would be great if you had one of those that does not require munitions. Uh, there are three uniques around in the Commonwealth, and I'm just going to double check right now. Are there any in... No, they're all in the Commonwealth, they're not in any DLC maps. So around the Commonwealth, you could come across the special variants of this weapon. I'm not going to show them because I want you guys to experience it yourselves. And of course, custom animations. These are not vanilla animations. These are custom made, custom models and stuff, of course. And a lot of new attachments, which is also nice. All of the attachments, again, there aren't a lot of them, but they are sweet and to the point. Like I say all the time, the, um, the legendary effect is another mod. <laughs> So, yeah, it's not part of this mod. Again, one thing I would love to see with their mods is uh, some kind of customizer. So you can customize the gun's look by adding another material or something. 
The look it has fits the Fallout 4 universe, but if you want to make a specific character as an example, a character that's part of the Brotherhood of Steel, you would expect them to maintain their weapons. Or the Institute, then you would expect like a clean Institute skin, or maybe just a skin for every faction would be great. The Railroad probably have more of a brown skin, um, or something like that with the, uh, the Railroad symbol on it. Those kind of things are kind of nice to have, and I would appreciate if they would add those. But besides that, I would say very well made. I like it. It it seems to have a nice fire rate, nice range. Accuracy is pretty good, especially with all of these attachments. And uh, yeah, very well made. And thank you, of course, for, for making all of these weapons. To all the mod others that are making weapons for Fallout 4 and all the other mods as well that make specific uh, mods for specific things in the game as well. That is very nice of you to make. And nice of you to take your time out of your day to make them as well. With that, of course, I'm going to have to end this video right here. If you do want the mod, it is in the description down below. It should take you to the Nexus page itself, where you can read more about it if you're interested. And then you can download it, of course. Uh, and again, it, it, it's a weapon that doesn't hurt anyone, so I would definitely recommend getting it. Even if you don't plan on using it, having NPCs use it against you also makes sense. So, um, yeah, especially the uniques. I like that it also had uniques. I have to say, that is a nice touch. A lot of other weapon mods don't do that. But when it comes to the generate deck and the uh, CSCP, I think that's the name. Yeah, sorry, I, I can barely read it. It's, it's tiny because I, I want to see the whole thing so I can read it properly. Um, but what they when they add stuff, when the generate deck works with other people and he uploads them, uh, they always have uniques, which I can appreciate because I love uniques in these games. I always down to specific mods for uniques, but that's a different tangent. Uh, sorry to waste your time with that. But anyway, again, a description down below if you want the mod. Uh, hope to see you guys in another one of my videos and as always stay awesome <laughs>